द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह असी इस प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम से हमेशा थोड़ी अपनी कम्यूनिटी के उन मैंबरस न मुलाकात कराते हाँ जो कि इस कंट्री वेरीयस पोलिटिकल पोजिशन रस्ते रन करते हैं अज असी जिन मैंबर थोड़ी मुलाकात करा वो एक बड़े वायबल कैंडीडेट एक मरीन सारजेंट महावीर सिंह काली राय महावीर थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है महावीर यू आर वेरी वेलकम टू द शो थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी असी अपने सारे व्यूज नो दस दिए कि महावीर एक मरीन सार्जेंट है और ये कैलीफोर्निया एल्क ग्रोव जी सिटी काउंसिल है उसकी डिस्ट्रिक्ट टू वास्ते मैंबर ऑफ द सिटी काउंसिल की इलेक्शन लड़ रहे हैं महावीर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर टेकिंग आउट द टाइम स्पीकिंग विद अस टुडे थैंक यू सो मच हरजोत एंड इट्स अ प्लेजर टू बी हियर महावीर असी अपनी कम्युनिटी नु तोडे नाल होर जानू कराइए सब तो पहला ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਦੱਸੋ ਵਰ ਯੂ ਬੋਰਨ ਇਨ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਵਰ ਯੂ ਰੇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਯੈਸ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਇਨ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਗਰੂ ਅਪ ਮਾਈ ਹੋਲ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਨ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਹਾਈ ਸਕੂਲ ਹੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਆਈ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਪਲੇਜੈਂਟ ਗਰੋਵ ਹਾਈ ਸਕੂਲ ਇਟਸ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਲੋਕਲ ਹਾਈ ਸਕੂਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਅਮ ਗਰੂ ਅਪ ਹੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਜੋਇਨ ਦਾ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਆਟ ਹੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਆਫਟਰ ਮਾਈ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਆਈ ਵੈਂਟ ਹੈਡ ਐਂਡ ਮੂਵਡ ਬੈਕ and still continue to give out through my community so elk grove is my life and it is who i am uh mahavir first of all we'll take this opportunity to thank you for your service uh tell our viewers more about your professional service you are a marine sergeant i understand is that right yes um so after graduating from pleasant grove high school i right away enlisted into the marine corps it was um something i am so passionate about it's It's one of the greatest ways I had the opportunity to give not only back to my community but to our great nation and um the opportunities that I was given and the growth I was produced out of the military is just immense and um as I said I joined when I was only 18 years old through the ranks I made my way through sergeant and really had the opportunity to do a lot more community involvement to really develop and grow and um a great example would be is During the hurricanes when I was active duty um were pretty heavy on the east coast and we got to serve a lot of humanitarian efforts and that really resonated with me on how I can actually give back to my communities and you don't really think about that in the military you usually think about other things but you know that kind of community service is what I'm so passionate about and that led me to leave the military and when I exited active duty I continued my service in the reserves and now I have more involvement even more involvement to my local community where I grew up and what i'm really passionate about mm-hmm. uh mahavir we are so thankful you know asi hamesha apne community ve jede most you know viable candidates and unna di talash ch rehnde ha and you coming from the background that you come from you know uh, I, i believe marines are some of the most respected people in this country and so rightly so uh you were involved in active duty as well you said okay can you talk a little more about that Yes, so when I was active duty, um so active duty is um essentially where it's 24/7. It's it's our job and I had the opportunity to become active duty and I was actually stationed in uh North Carolina. Um and that's where I was hub and that's where I worked out of and I had the privilege of going on two deployments, um one to Southeast Asia to serve, you know, multiple security exercises with um foreign nations. And then the second one was called the Marine Expeditionary Unit and there I was able to support my efforts on the MU and to really provide assets that the military could help and really push the way forward in what we do in the military. And leaving active duty joining the reserves is kind of a little bit different because it's viewed as um as almost like part time but it's it's not because you get to really still serve your community but you're you're more involved because you become local at that point and so when i left my active service i went to reserve service i had more of the opportunity to become more of a local service member mm-hmm. so uh have you ever run for political office before no this is totally new to me but um but what really inspired me was 
is our community in Elk Grove. We are incredibly large and we're growing rapidly quickly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel we need a new and innovative leader to really pave the way for our community. We're having a lot of new emergency, emerging technologies, we're growing, and we need a leader that's gonna grow for Elk Grove and really push our passion and what we want in our communities. Mm -hmm. well, we uh, understand that Elk Grove is, is, is a really diverse uh, community. Do, do we have a large number of Punjabi population there? What, what percentage would you say? Oh, yes. Um, Elk Grove is one of the most diverse communities that we have in the state. I mean, as everybody knows, California is one of the most diverse states in the country. Mm -hmm. But as Elk Grove goes, we are incredibly diverse. The, the, the sea community is very large here. All communities are large. Mm -hmm. And um, with that, I had the opportunity to um, work with the California State Fair to really show our diversity out of this um, great city where we could host taste of India and make, you know, mango, lassi and pakore and really showcase what we do and how diverse we really are. Mm -hmm. And then we also hosted, you know, several Bangra nights as well. And so, yes, we are incredibly diverse. It's something that we're extremely proud about. And we even have a um, diversity commission dedicated to showcase how diverse we are as a city. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, that, that's that's very encouraging, and it's very encouraging to know how you have been involved with the community. Uh, wh 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 what would you say is the level of participation of the community in the political or civic discourse uh, in this country? You know, we all understand we came here as immigrants, or hali vi kai loki jadein, or apne kamaich lagin. But jadi mainstream politics hai gie, us de vich bohut zyada loki hali vi involved nahi hain. What do you say? And I think you're somewhat correct, to be honest with you, you know. Um, and that's why we're here. You know, we have a voice, we're here in the community, and it's time for young leaders to come out and show, you know, that this country gave us great opportunities when my dad and my grandfather immigrated to England and then um, America, respectively. It, it gave our family incredible opportunities, and it really gave our, formed our patriotism for this country. Mm -hmm. And in that, the community is growing, and when we want to get into politics, it's because we as people are very community-based, and local politics is just that. It's about community. It's about local community. It's what we can do for each other. Mm -hmm. And I think as um, time goes on, we're going to have more people being inspired to run because they want to do some good, and they see the improvements that they can bring and the different perspectives they can bring. And as time goes on, we're going to have more of our community members enter local politics, and it's something that we should encourage them to do. Mahavir, Asi, Tode Nal, Tode Platform Bare, Tode Plan De Bare, Zada Gal Karange, Ek Choti Ji Break De Baad. To see Vek Te Ro, The Way Forward. The Way Forward is Toda Phir Tu Swagat Hai, Mai Toda Host Harjot Singh. Aaj Asi Gal Kar Rhe Haan, Elk Grove City Council De Candidate, Mahavir Singh Kali Rai Jinal. Mahavir, you know, we know about your background. Now, we want to know about your plans and your platform. Can you tell us about what you are going to do? What do you think are the main issues that you are going to do? What do you think are the main issues confronting the district for this election? You know, there's quite a few issues. I mean, it comes to no surprise, coming out of this pandemic, the whole nation is really you know, trying to figure out where we're at, um, especially with new and evolving variants and the um, the vaccinations and stuff. And so we understand that we're kind of in a different age that we're not really used to. But you know what, that's that's part about being a service member. I'm, I'm comfortable with being in positions that make me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And we need more leaders like that. And that leads me right to my six point plan. I have an invigorative and really powerful six-point plan that's going to push Elk Grove to the future. I mean, it is already growing, and it needs a plan to grow with it. And so it's six basic points, essentially, is it comes to no surprise that homelessness is it's an issue, and it's an issue that we must look at from a community, and we must take the holistic approach. Mm -hmm. we, we have to look at the individual that is experiencing this mm -hmm. and how we can invest into the individual. And with that, we need to also understand with a city that's growing as fast as Elk Grove, we need to incorporate technologies and make Elk Grove the future because it is the future. Mm -hmm. And so when we bring in new and emergency technologies, we can also at the same time improve quality of life for all of our residents. And then that leads to my third point, 
public safety. G. As it is known that, you know, we are experiencing a need for public safety, it's a requirement. We, we need to really support that. We need to support our police officers and strengthen our public safety. Mm -hmm. And then with any growing city, we need to ensure that we are spending our money wisely and that we look at our city budget and that we know where we're being wasteful and where we're not being wasteful and where we should invest and where we should not invest. Mm -hmm. Leads to enhancing things that we need to enhance. We need to enhance our parks our recreation centers, and then at the same time, protecting our wildlife. It's one of the things I'm most proud about Elk Grove. We have amazing parks in the city, mm -hmm. and we need to make sure it stays that way. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, obviously it's most important and dear to my heart, it's who I really am, is we need to provide much more local services to our veterans, and especially to our transitioning veterans that return to our communities. Mm -hmm. That is something I'm incredibly passionate about, something I've experienced myself, and only veterans that transition from active duty service or reserve service really can truly understand. And we need to let them know that, hey, there is a veteran here that represents you and knows what you're going through and supports you. <laughs> Uh, Mahavi, that's a very comprehensive plan. You know, to see all areas, a city they or to see cover kitten. But you know, if if I talk about a little a little, uh, little specifics, I see when all COVID the situation is too bad. Are see when we have been uh, you know hit by this variant again, the Delta variant and you know other mutations which uh, we uh, fear uh, in the future. In this in this situation, you know, schools are reopening and uh, everyone is apprehensive. What do you think should the schools do uh, at this stage when it comes to That's protection against? Yeah. So when it comes to something as complex as the coronavirus or you know the Delta variants and new emerging variants are going to happen and it's expected, but. You know, we as leaders, we have to understand, we have to look at the facts and we have to defer to our, the professionals and the public health experts and what we really need to do. Indeed. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I'm an expert, but at the same time, I will tell you as a leader, you know, you need to take the information you receive and make the correct decisions. And mm. as long as that continues to happen, mm. I think we'll be able to continue to thrive and push forward as a society and especially to our local governments. It's it's crucial, especially when it comes to our schools and our business infrastructure and everything, is, is take what the experts are saying and make sure we follow through with the leadership with right and correct leadership. Mm -hmm. That's a very pragmatic approach. You know, we have seen people taking hard stand ideological approaches to various things, but you uh, say that uh, you should, you know, uh, listen to the experts and, and we welcome that. Uh, you know, at the local level, we, we are seeing the federal government, you know, taking a lot of steps uh, to help our small businesses with their infrastructure plans and uh, various other steps as well. But I think the most help needs to come for small businesses at the local level, at the city council level. What is your plan uh, when it comes to small businesses in Elk Grove? That is something I'm incredibly passionate about. I come from a family of small business owners. My brother, um, who's younger than me, actually started a um, an online business through the pandemic last year. And knowing firsthand some of the challenges, not only having a business through a pandemic, and also starting a business through the pandemic, I, I think I fully understand what needs to happen and where the community can really help you. And the city needs to provide that support and really listen to the business owners. And that's something that we noticed lacked. Um, the city of all cities can do a lot better to support small businesses, but also understand that they're the experts in their field. They are going to ask you for things, and you need to help them to thrive and survive. It is our, it's the economic growth depends on our small businesses, mm -hmm. and we as a city have to support that. There's just no other way around it. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Mahavir, as we see all of our community members, we see, uh, you know, most of the Californians have a huge issue uh, with traffic. I think the growth of the technology is in some areas which center hori hai, and all the neighboring places uh, face a lot of issues getting to those places and getting back from those places to home. Do you have something in mind for that, towards that? 
You know, Harjot, I am so happy you talked about that. Gee. When I came back from the Marine Corps, I am so used to structure and efficiency. Hmm. And when I came back and I returned to work, I um, worked at our local Starbucks and everybody, it's a very common road in Elk Grove. It's called the Bond and Laguna Road. Gee. And the amount of traffic and congestion I experienced, what to me was just absurd. It was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And now even working in the tech industry and when I have to go into work, I experienced the same congestion, the same traffic. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, you know, all of California experiences it, but Elk Grove is experiencing it too. And because we are a developing city and we're a growing city, that's where new leadership needs to come in and give new and innovative ideas, not only how to properly produce our infrastructure, but how to incorporate technology and working in the tech industry. I think I know firsthand how we can incorporate tech into traffic control measures and how to also incorporate that with our infrastructure and put the two together. And if we can put technology and infrastructure together, I'm very confident we can ease a lot of our traffic congestion and frustration. You know, Sanu, people with diverse experiences, people uh, with technological experience and with your military background, I think uh, leaders like you can come and provide the solutions that we are looking for. Uh, there are various issues which are confronting uh, uh, the community as well. What do you see as the main issues for Sikh and Punjabi community in California, particularly in El Grove? Particularly in Elk Grove, I think our community can really benefit from more representation. Mm -hmm. When it comes to any community, there needs to be a sense of representation. Am I being represented? Gee. And in order for that, I think we need to support new community leaders and to really understand the issues that affect one community or another community. With that, being so diverse in California, the representation of helping my community is very passionate to me. I've been very involved since uh, my high school days. Gee. It's incredibly passionate. Um, and there's a lot of things we are doing as a city, but there's a lot of things we can do as well. And so we are going to do that, and I'm going to continue to be the voice for all communities. Mahavir, as, uh, you know, as I started, we are very proud of your service. We thank you for your service. Uh, I see, uh, Anna, you, you have just uh, come out of the military and you have been fully involved with the community. So see, this is, this is the first time you're running for political office, but are there any other uh, social organizations that which you are involved with? Oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. um, you know, any commu every community has great organizations. I had the privilege of volunteering with our local Elk Grove Food Bank. Mm -hmm. And that really helped me get more in touch with, you know, what we need as a community mm -hmm. and how we can benefit our community and what we can provide as a city. Mm -hmm. And secondly, um, I got to had the opportunity to volunteer with two related organizations. Mm -hmm. One was our anti-trash community and the great work that they do. They go through our city and the Sacramento area and they find places that have a lot of litter and how we can actually work to clean the litter. And so we had the opportunity to do that. And then lastly was um, the CSD or our community service district. And over there is what we're doing is we sponsor volunteer days mm -hmm. and the opportunity to clean our parks and revitalize our parks is just so prideful. Like I said, you know, Elk Grove, we're, we're very prideful of our parks and trails and giving the opportunity to volunteer to clean them up just inspires me and gives me an incredible amount of passion. And then the one that's near and dear to my heart is I had the opportunity to volunteer and actively volunteer serving our veterans. I work with um, Sac County Courthouse with the Veterans Treatment Court, volunteering and supporting our veterans as it's so close to my heart as, you know, a reservist and active duty service member. We need a good support basis for our veterans. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mahavir, it's, it's a matter of uh, immense pride and a gratitude for us as a community that young people like you are coming forward uh, to serve the community and run for political offices in this country. Aj Sardinal Gal Karanda, bohut bohut shukriya. Jande jande, mein tode tu puchna changa ki, you know, would you like to tell us why would you be the best candidate for this office that you're seeking? 
there are plenty of reasons. The biggest reason is a city growing as fast as Elk Grove and as new as Elk Grove needs in return a new and innovative leader that can bring new ideas. With new ideas, you can allow the community to be adequately represented. And when the community is adequately represented, we thrive. And we need that, and we're going to have that. And when we do, there needs to be a leader on the forefront of that. And then to find out more really what I'm about or my holistic approach, I want to let your viewers know to reach out to my website. It's Elect Cali. That's elect, K-A-L-L-I.com. Mm -hmm. And there you can really find out how I am a leader and more of my approach for leadership. Uh, Mahavir, again, thank you very much on behalf of the country and behalf of the community. We wish you all the very best with your campaign. Thanks very much for talking, us, uh, talking to us today. Thank you so much, Herjot. It's a pleasure. Asi Mildea, ek choti ji break the baat. Tusi vek dero, the way forward. The way forward is tola fir tu swagat hai. Ma tola host Herjot Singh. Hun asi gal karange community de ek hor candidate, jo ki New York Nassau County de legislature roste run karren District 17 which. Raja Singh. Asi Raja tola bohot bohot swagat hai. Thank you for having me on. Uh, Raja, today, thank you very much for your time. We have given our viewers that Raja Singh is a very successful attorney who is in the District 17 NASA legislature. Uh, kar de uh, Raja, please tell us about your candidature. What position do you run kar rahe ho? Anji, so I'm standing uh, for Nassau County Legislator. But love Jimitsu Sochlo, City Council or Assembly Member. Mm -hmm. uh, position uh, Nassau County, de which as laws create got uh, policies banandea that affects the lives of Jerry Sade residents Hagia. Jerry may district Hagia, District 17, and they which include Hagia mostly Hicksville. J to see Hicksville the John there, if you know anything about New York. Um, Sochlo Hicksville is the next Richmond Hill. So the community is mm -hmm. uh, you know, every year, side by side, we increase our demographics, uh, you know, two, three times, ten times. Mm -hmm. Asal, it just increases, increases, and increases. But the side community, koi representation hani, they inevitably hold jania, right? So all they must say, many thoughts to you know, why wait for this opportunity to come to me? Because yes, you wait for them, or they can offer to me. Right. Yeah. So why wait for them? Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, reach out to the party. I want to the endorsement lally. See, sorry, vetting process got uh, because you have to take initiative. Um, mm -hmm. That's how I started my business, right? By taking initiative, taking the risk. Because uh, as soon as you start taking the risk and take the initiative, for the box, just sorry, look, y'all done there. Okay, Roger, the he's the community guy. He reached out to us. He made it happen. Uh, relationships start yeah. uh, to, for, for the future. Yeah. Raja, we will talk about the political journey in more details. But first of all, you will tell us about your background. Were you born in New York? Were you born on the island? No, actually, I was born in Patella. I'm from, from India, I was born in Patella. Yeah. Um, the family family was born in Patella when I was maybe about four years old. Mm -hmm. I moved to Queens. I lived most of my life in Queens. Yeah. The, Law school. Um, uh, my last year of undergrad, um, I moved to Hicksville, to Long Island. There was the bar that went to law school in Florida. Uh, Florida, office, uh, when I came back, I see I got to Hicksville with, with my parents. Um, mm -hmm. um, the I I was a I was a kid. I a I was a I was a kid. I was a I a twin brother, identical twins. Uh, so, I don't know, we figured let's start our own practice. Yes, she practiced Shuru Karti Donane, right right here in the heart of Hicksville. Yeah. And little by little, you know, we started helping community members. Joe Visare, Ben Sunday, we go to all the events. Both um, Sade, business owners, Sade clients, and you know, it's it's just a matter of what's the next step of how we can help the community. Mm -hmm. Uh, Raja Singh Ji, we understand uh, that uh, you have this legal practice and a very successful legal practice, and I think that's a great training for for a, a service like this, for a political career or a service to the community. Uh, 
मैं यू नो यू हैव स्पोकन अबाउट योर रीजंस फॉर एंट्रिंग इनटू इनटू पॉलिटिक्स बट फिर भी मैं तोड़े तो यू नो इन मोर क्लियर वर्ड्स आई वुड लाइक टू नो व्हाट इज़ द मोटिवेशन फॉर रनिंग फॉर दिस ऑफिस नाउ well the motivation is is you know as long as i've lived here hun 15 saal ho gaye ji eh main aap dekh raha hu with my own eyes ke mere hicks will change ho raha hai right the demographics is changing uh, the main needs the demographics is changing a lot uh hun bhi soch lo covid karke jo bhi new york city ch rehne se gaye that were living in a building or living in a uh, closed location sorry guys okay you know what we need more space we want to be able to go outside there are especially those all the which the the number of of people moving from new york city to long island you know we're 15 minutes away from new york city right so we're nalia sare the move ho gaye so again the numbers keep growing and growing uh but sadi community was the koi government leader kuch karta nahi um so it's just like what again uh, how long do we have to wait uh for them to understand and appreciate our community जी स्पेसीफाई uh, करोगे वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू आर सीकिंग दैट द गवर्नमेंट शुड बी डूइंग फॉर पर्टिकुलरली फॉर अ कम्युनिटी विच दे आर नॉट डूइंग एट दिस स्टेज तो सोच लो एक चीज है कि बिगेस्ट थिंग सोच लो दिस कम्युनिकेशन गैप राइट हम सारी कम्युनिटी चल बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो जिन्होंने इंग्लिश पढ़नी नहीं आंदी बोलनी नहीं आंदी जे ओ बिजनेस ओनर्स आ गया सारे को ला जाते हैं एज एन अटॉर्नी द पाजी दूसरी की करो हाउ कैन यू हेल्प मी आई हैव यू हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम्स when a business need call there do you know someone i can talk to mm-hmm. you know someone on the inside and you know my my many social media why do i have to know somebody in the inside for you to open your business yeah right why do i have to know someone on the inside for you to successfully uh, buy a house or live the live the life that you want you want to live or help your children uh, get resources or join a basketball team it it, it shouldn't be like that it should be transparent and should be open communication there should be easy access the mm-hmm. area which in this district uh hang so so this you know it's, it's all these things ultimately they combine and then you you say well something has to give well you know well, at what point does it change mm-hmm. absolutely uh you know uh, we have a diverse community and besides our community you know there, there's a huge uh, non punjabi or non sikh community in uh, hexwell as well what what would you say are the main issues uh, facing the community uh, at this time we we all know that we have come out of this uh, huge crisis uh, you know created by covid and i don't know if it's right to say that we have come out of this crisis we are seeing it coming back so what do you think are the main issues uh, confronting the community at this time yeah the whole extra committee look at it on on the district level g uh, you know the number one issue most people have is, is property taxes right g uh, j koi jaan la sade bureau jaan de you know uh, you know nas county is one of the highest tax counties in in the united states if not the highest mm-hmm. um so property taxes that's sade the main issue i in india you know why are my taxes so high how do we get them lower uh dusri cheez on the on the local level is you know maintenance uh infrastructure you know why are you know the way it's running now is jere sare parties jere bethe an office jo uh they represent the whole district but all sare and they are in one part of the district and jo bhi budget hai ona ko they spend all their money and all their budget and all their access to their local neighborhood and they forget rest of the district uh so it's not fair to the people that they attend and they are you know I I live here I pay taxes you know why are you spending all the resources in that area why is it not fair and equally spread out to everyone that lives here um and those resources can help you know schools uh arts programs science programs uh mm-hmm. you know you have the issues with the roads why are the roads not being repaired why are they not being well maintained uh you have the parks you know why are parks not being maintained you have issues with transportation and any side of you know uh public 
cancellation handy. Bus is the idea, but not just handy. So Gee. you know why? Why is it? Why is? Why don't we have more access to transportation? Mm. Uh, bike lanes. To see bike lanes when I was there, why can't we become more economically friendly or eco-friendly rather? Uh, and so these are these are all these issues that add up. Um, small business owners, especially with COVID, karke, how do we get the small business owners to bounce back from from COVID? Because we're still in that problem and it's still not 100% back. But um, the, the only way that's going to change is having the right people in, in office with the right mindset to want to change these things. Mm -hmm. uh, Raja ji, asi tode naal ki plan to see like a I O A J D sari problems and unna de solution lei. Us par ek gal karenge break de us par. To see vekte ro the way forward. The way forward is thought of it to Swagata, Asi Gal Karea, NASA legislative uh, body, the uh, candidate Raja Sengjinal. Raja, break the jam to Paila to see uh, Sanu Dasia ki key problems is community who face Kardi Payan. Un Asi Tode to Janna Change ki Toda ki plan hai. What is your platform to see key soch deo, Kistra in problems the solution jedi hai, o kadi jasak deo. Yeah, so Jedi main chief issue I you can social property tax uh, Jedi Sandy County Executive Hagia, Laura Curran, um, she's done a phenomenal job uh, as far as uh, assessing the property taxes. Matlab, ite bhot saare log hagia jere onadi prop. Some people were paying too high in property taxes, and some people were paying too low. So most of maybe for ten years, there was a freeze on the assessment. Matlab, jodi previous administration sigi. On on how to correct the taxes. So it was on a freeze uh, for over a decade. But looking out every year, people's taxes went up and up and up and up. And for what we messed up over here, right? On mm -hmm. one she did the, re the reassessment. So slow, now everyone's taxes are corrected, and that's the starting point. Mm -hmm. Going forward, that's the starting point, right? All the now we start the whole county budget. Now we have a surplus of money, um, almost 90 million dollars surplus, right? So mm -hmm. now we have a surplus, we have the correct taxes. How do we combine the two to lower the taxes? Both uh, sides, looking John Denny, Jerry, property taxes, about 50% of, of, of school tax is paid by commercial real estate. Mm -hmm. The perfect example is Hicksville, Divitia. So we have so much commercial real estate. Mm -hmm. The Hicksville, the property taxes, both actually pretty low, probably the lowest in all of NASA County, right? Gee. Uh, so, Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's the lowest because we have so much commercial real estate. Mm -hmm. But other parts of, you know, Dusiga, I think Dusiga is Syosset, right? So, uh, Syosset uh, is in the neighboring town. There's other towns in my district also that they have high taxes. But on a way, commercial property, uh, Hany is zoning mini Hany. So, the easiest fix you can do is, you know, let's restructure the zoning. Allow for multi use zoning for commercial and residential, or then I'll go be developers. I get another facet the one done because their business is development, they're still going to make the development, make the commercial real estate, they're going to sell it, they're going to they're gonna make the money, and that's going to pay to balance out the, the, the increase in school tax because almost half of it will be knocked down because half of it's paid through school tax. <laughs> no, uh, Raja, man, you know, I would really. Uh want you to uh, you know speak a little on this sadi community in which is viewers do samajh aaye ki to se kya ki jade school taxes hage ya property tax jade mostly apa home owners bhi jade apa tax dende ha o lower hunde in cover hunde in when there is a supplement from uh, businesses from the commercial uh, uh, commercial taxes that uh, a town makes right te is wale jedi covid di situation hai is that uh, you know a lot of businesses have closed down as well so do we run a risk if not done properly do we run a risk ki sade jede gharan de tax hage property tax hage they can be raised but, so as of now they're not going to be raised because jovi sade current county executive i get she's put a, a, a freeze on the increase of taxes for 2 years Mm -hmm. uh, because of COVID, she's like, let's not raise taxes. Let's leave it alone for now. And mm -hmm. once we bounce back, hopefully Jalosi bounce back out of there, then we can address it. But it gives us at least one, one to two years now uh, to find a solution, mm -hmm. right? Um, so solution now, Jerry problem, one the county executive is from one party. 
Mm -hmm. the, Jenny, the legislative body is the opposite party. Majority is the opposite party. So, Jovi Koi bill on the. I'm, so I'm running as a Democratic candidate. Uh, the county executive is, is a Democrat. The SID legislative body is a majority Republican. The Jodo Sikosh proposed card that almost always gets rejected because we don't have the votes in the in, in legislation uh, for these bills to pass. Gee. So the first thing is to get enough people um, to make it fair that JLC Kush proposed card there, at least the proposal will be heard. Uh, on the floor in the legislature, the Jovi Sade constituents and the residents, you know, they should have a fair say in voting for these things. So, but you know, with, with your question, with your concerns, um, that's why it's important to do something for small businesses. Gee. You know, we have the surplus, right? So surplus issue, Ahia, how do we best use $90 million surplus? <laughs> okay, so do we give it back to small business to revitalize the community? Mm -hmm. I, my, you know, my whole thing is, just uh, how pass it, yeah, we should reinvest the bit, the money back into our community. Mm -hmm. uh, if we reinvest into our small business, they will shop locally. They will then all the money circulates within our community, and then we have increase of revenue for the county. And just how to go more about it, we can do more to return back to um, the residents. Uh, fair, if we don't have the commercial real estate space, that's okay, because we have a surplus of money uh, to go directly back into the pockets of residents. Mm -hmm. Uh, Raja, ek hor jada bada concern hai ga, you know, for, for, for the entire district, for the entire country, and uh, which includes people of our community, uh, when it comes to schools. Jada ek COVID situation has a thodi insurgence dekh rea, and you know, we have seen uh, a diversity of opinions in the country, keep, uh, keep uh, mask uh, lagane chai de, nee lagane chai de, vaccinations uh, mandate honi chai diya, ki ni honi chai diya. What would you do as a member of the legislature for our district uh, when it comes to schools? Yeah, so, so to, 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 before I answer that, just for clarity of, of facts, so in New York State, in all of New York State, uh, Nassau County has the highest uh, percentage of vaccination rate. Uh, in the whole state. So we've done a good job mm -hmm. as far as getting people vaccinated. Um, so when it comes to schools, now it's, you know, I, my personal opinion is you, you leave it up to the parents um, and the parents sh should be responsible for how they want to choose to, um, uh, for their kids to be vaccinated or not. With the mask mandate, I can understand the social, both are low that that on our bus day. Uh, they're unable to get vaccinated for whatever medical reason, right? Mm -hmm. uh, do we run the risk of, of making someone sick uh, and potentially dying who's unable to get vaccinated? So it's the same thing when you have uh, businesses that have to create a ramp for, you know, to, to conform with the American Disability Act, right? You have mm -hmm. to do it for the greater good of public policy. Mm -hmm. um, so I can understand, don't side the argument, I, I, I know it. What's the best route? It, it's hard to say. I'm a believer of science. Um, I would, you know, uh, uh, turn to the medical experts. Joke asks like that, okay, you know, if children 12 and under are at a very low risk of, of uh, getting infected. Corona must stay, um, you know, no problem. Let's not put, the, put them in masks or let's put them in masks to protect the teachers, to protect the other students um, because the vaccination opportunity is low. But 12 and over, I. You know, so it's not focus. I got one to get them vaccinated, mm -hmm. uh, at least as a starting point. And with the mask, again, I, my personal opinion is you deter to the parents. How do they want to handle it? Um, the other thing I'll be the problem is school boards. How, how do they want to leave? How do how do they want to deal with it? So it's 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 very tricky uh, mm -hmm. of, of getting the correct answer for that. Gee, uh, Raja, I see. Uh... Uh, you know, we are, we are very thankful to you for taking out the time coming out. This is the community in Agal Karanaste. I would, uh, you know, circle time, we are running out of time. I would like you to tell in your own words, why do you think you are the best candidate for the position that you're seeking? Sure. So the reason why I'm the best candidate for this position is because the uh, Saudi community, uh, District 17 as a whole, mm -hmm. uh, both sides changes over there. The next mm -hmm. side is changing little by little by little. They all the now it's getting better and better. Jenny problem, Maria, Sadi local government, on a new 
they're not appreciating the change they're not understanding the change mm -hmm. uh, and they're not doing anything to make the change uh, get better and, and make it more uh, progressive for the JLO Ketenandea. So we need someone who's um, enthusiastic about bringing change and positive change. How do we make Hicksville even better than what it is now? How do we make it easier for people to, that live here uh, to stay to live here? Because I need a big problem over here again, because it's getting so expensive, people are leaving. Um, how do we get people to stay here? What can we do for generous and the senior citizens? We want to have them stay here. How do we bring back uh, people that left? How do we create more business? Uh, Hicksville, Sochlo is a big downtown of Long Island. Um, how do we make it more accessible? How do we create more amenities that look, they don't want to leave. They want to be, be in Hicksville. And if all that happens at the right time, mm -hmm. and it becomes more and more dynamic of, of community. Uh, but for that to happen, we have to have someone who's willing to take the risk, who, who wants to take charge and lead the way so that we can move forward uh, into the, the next uh, great uh, decade of, of, of Long Island, of Hicksville, District 17. Mm -hmm. uh, Raja, thank you very much for taking out the time today. We wish you all the very best. The election is November 2021. Is it right? November 6th? That's correct. November 2nd is election day, 2021. And early voting is in October, nine days before that. And as a Democrat, you can always uh, request your absentee ballot and vote by mail as well. Thank you. We wish you all the very best. Thank you, Sasegalji. Asian Nasa County uh, Legislature District 17, the candidate Raja Singh Ji. I hope to see another girl closely. Suni honi hai. To see at the hi sare naal jude ro, asi jede apne community the candidates and unanu tode samne lekhi ande rangi, tode naal roop roop krande rangi. Aaj da program vekanaste bahot bahot shukriya. To see vek the way forward.